Wait, 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 wait. One more time with Sports Plus. Let's go. Like literally having heart palpitations right now. Call 911. <laughs>back you guys so if you saw uh, my recent video you'll know that I've had the sole performance valved exhaust system installed on my car and not just the exhaust system uh, but I've had it hooked up to the OEM sports exhaust button here in the center console Porsche of Minneapolis were uh, kind enough and did a fantastic job um, to figure that out and do it for me so today before the snow hits here in the Twin Cities which apparently is supposed to be a pretty mega snowstorm uh, I'm getting out to do a before and after video. Now, I've taken my before video, you know, footage, of course, already. Um, now it's all about the, uh, the, uh, the, sole perform the, the sole performance exhaust, the after footage. And uh, man, I'm pretty excited, as you can tell. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna go and essentially drive over uh, the same route that we took for the stock footage. Hold that thought. So good, so good. And that's with the valves closed. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna drive over the same area we went to last time and uh, we're gonna see what it sounds like. And I'm telling you right now, I am sure the majority of you are gonna just absolutely love the sound of this Soul Performance exhaust. It, it sort of dials up the volume, the natural volume of the engine, of this flat six Porsche engine, up to like an 11 or a 12 or even a 13, depending on how fast you go and how much throttle you put down, without kind of detracting from what the 911 should sound like. Um, so it hasn't changed the sound of the engine, it's just made it more aggressive, it's made it louder, but without being garish and without being just completely over the top. So right now, cruising along, put my foot down. There is, there's no drone inside the cabin, no vibrations, nothing that would um, you know, prevent me from enjoying the drive. At the same time though, you know, I wanna get involved and I wanna put the, uh, the pedal down. You just get that race car feel immediately. And it's even better when you push the button. And the downshifting is just amazing. My head is like exploding right now. I'm so excited. It, it just makes the car, 
you know, kind of like with my 997 and the Fister exhaust, it sort of adds that extra dimension to the car, gives it more personality. Um, and that's absolutely true here. I just, I really enjoyed driving this car beforehand and I just enjoy driving it even more now. It's absolutely one of the best mods I've ever done to a car. All right, so um, we don't have, so the valves are closed right now. Let's accelerate and uh, see what it sounds like. Beautiful, let's downshift. So I'm hearing the engine downshift, but I'm not getting I'm not getting much from the exhaust right now. Well I am now, I'm going into second <laughs> at 40 miles an hour. Oh no, rock chips. Ah. That's one of the problems with these country roads. Every now and again, a big car will come along, a big truck, and just like drop loads of stuff on the floor. All right, here we go. So I'm going to, I'm not gonna put it in Sports or Sports Plus, but I am gonna put the valve exhaust on. And uh, we're gonna give it another rip. Once I get over these stones. Okay, here we go. My God, it's so good. I don't know how much you're catching of that, but um, it just feels like I'm on a racetrack and I'm like, you know, a professional driver driving a sports car, <laughs> driving a race car. That sounds so, so good. I'm so happy with it. So Porsche Minneapolis uh, did the exhaust install, which uh, took about four hours of labor. Um, and so whatever you know, your local exhaust shop or your Porsche dealer charges by the hour, you can obviously do a, a multiplication there. Um, the, the time it took to actually wire up the vacuum lines and the electrics uh, into the car and take the seats out and you know control modules and all of that, that was about another two hours worth of time. Um, so you're looking at about anywhere from sort of four to six, maybe seven hours of labor. Um, and then the control module itself, um, the, uh, the, the wiring harness, all of the gizmos and the gadgets that you need uh, run another sort of 200 to 600, depending on where you source them. So all in all, the job to get the, ins the exhaust installed and get it hooked up to the button cost about 1500 bucks and that's obviously on top of the cost of the uh of the exhaust itself so it's not cheap but it's certainly not you know staggering staggeringly expensive i guess it all depends on your point of view so now um let's give it a whiz with uh the window open so first off with the valves closed Okay, now let's give it a whiz with the, uh, the valves open. Oh God, what a great noise. Downshifting. The neighbors aren't gonna like that one. It just, it's so incredible. The difference is just like night and day. So, you know, I've got to say, uh, absolutely tremendous effort by Porsche Minneapolis. I mean, there's just, you know, no doubt about it. Seth and the guys there and John, um, Seth in particular for doing all of the work, um, just absolutely phenomenal job. I would highly recommend Porsche in Minneapolis, just like last year I recommended um, Eurocharged in Minneapolis who did my Fister exhaust. I mean, just, you know, two great experiences. Porsche Minneapolis making sure that this works and behaves, functions just like the Porsche sports exhaust should. Um, so my hat's off to them. And of course, Soul Performance for making this incredible product. It's so cool. It's possibly my favorite thing about the car now. So 
Ah, I just absolutely love it. Well, let me know what you think. Um, do you prefer the stock exhaust? Do you prefer the salt performance exhaust? Let's, uh, you know, just give it one more rip before we have to say goodbye. That's it for another video guys let me know what you think uh, do you like the stock Porsche exhaust there is absolutely nothing wrong if that's your preference or do you prefer the sole performance valve exhaust I know which one I prefer it's making my hair stand up on the back of my neck and I'm like super in love with it now um, more videos coming up even though there is supposed to be the snowpocalypse arriving this afternoon 
Um, this weekend, I'm hopefully gonna try and swap out the gauge face of my sports chrono. Um, I've got a uh, OEM looking, I, think, I don't think it's like truly OEM, but an OEM looking uh, gauge face. So that's gonna be a, an interior mod video. I've got my spaces to install. I've got my Apple CarPlay hack. Um, so lots of exciting stuff to come. Even though the snow is coming and this might be the last time I get to drive the car for the winter. Having said that, the guys at Porsche Minneapolis kind of talked me into getting winter tires saying that this car should be fine to drive in the winter, which actually a lot of you have said as well. So who knows, maybe this won't be the last driving video of the winter. <laughs> anyway, thanks again for watching. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.